sexy lady. <laughs> Bill. Bill. Job rejection. Job rejection. Bill. Job rejection. No, hang on. No, that's a bill. Job rejection. Bill. 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 Oh, here we are. What's this? Free sample of bikini line depilatory cream. Mmm, <laughs> we could be really good together. Simon, call me a sad, reactionary, unimaginative old toilet attendant. But can you explain to me why you are trying to get off with a woman who folds down at night? You just can't see it, can you? No, I can't. No. The incredible potential of this woman. What adds? An extremely thin and very quiet babysitter. Uh, Nick, let me introduce you to the world of a big business. Simon, let me introduce you to the world of the multicellular organism. You may scoff, mate, but this beautiful lady is going to make me an awful lot of money. How? <laughs> Come on, Nick. Anyone with a modicum of business sense could see there are literally millions of possibilities for... You know, for... For doing things. And that's just, just millions of possibilities. I mean, the possibilities is, 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 is just millions. <laughs> anyway, at least one of us is doing something about all this, not just sitting around whinging. I haven't got a job. My old check hasn't come. It's two weeks late. It's not fair. No. No, it isn't bloody fair. It isn't fair that my cheque for my £100 has gone walkies and, and all we've got to eat is, 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 is a gherkin and, and marmite and, and chilli powder souffle served, served with a sauce of depilatory cream. Nick, there is a very simple way of dealing with all this. Which is? Drink. I haven't got any money, remember? Shut up, you whinging, whinging. Look, I've got... 34p. <laughs> You take the sofa, I'll do in here. <laughs> Ten drachma. It's one pound fifty. Yes, I know. I'm just putting it in the right order. <laughs> right. Two halves are better than the feathers. Yeah. Uh, no. Or, or, or what about the wine bar? Well, what do you want to go there for? No reason. <laughs> We can't afford the one, but let's go down the feathers. No, I'm not going somewhere where the most requested song on the jukebox is by Chicory Tip. <laughs> yes, but they've got Suki, the peanut girl, and there's only two packets to go. <laughs> Simon, I am not asking you as your friend, not even as your brother. I am asking you as someone who has a photograph of you dressed as an elf. <laughs> just, just let me check, okay? Hello, yes, is that, uh, is that Whistler's Wine Bar? Yes, well, I, I really wanted to touch base with you on the whole issue of pricing, vis-a-vis -vis your current vintages. Uh, shall we kick around the whole idea of, say, uh, say, a house white? <laughs> no, not so much the case, more the glass, really. <laughs> Do you, do you do a smaller glass than that? 
<laughs> and uh, is, it, is, it, is it cheap if I bring my own glass? <laughs> yes, I hear what you're saying, yes. Thank you very, very much. Goodbye. How much? One pound fifty! <laughs> my turn. <laughs> It's a slurp, not a sip. I've got to have two sips now to make up. <laughs> and a gulp is a penalty. <laughs> Hello, operator, this number seems to be disconnected. <laughs> I was just thinking about the other evening. Oh, memories like the corners of my mind. I don't want to be reminded, thank you. Oh, come on, you said you had a great time. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Giorgio the gigolo. Look, look, Simon, for only the six thousandth time, I spent one evening being touched up by Widow Twanky. <laughs> that does not make me a gigolo. Nick, Nick, beggars can't afford to be choosers. We're, we're stony broke, we're, we're cleaned out. I mean, anyway, not all of them are going to be like that, are they? I mean, some of them would be, you know, they'd be... They'll be young and they'll be wearing high heels and, and leggings and things and, and they'll take you to the pictures. I mean, they just think, right, you can see everything at the multiplex, yeah? And then they'll take you to the pub and you can have a, you can have a lager and take you to, to another pub and you can have loads of lagers there and then and go to all the pubs in the West End and have just loads and loads of lagers and then they'll have a kebab and have a curry. You know, not even a takeaway. Go to a proper restaurant and then, and then at the end of the evening you get to, get to go home in a minicab and, and then you might even get a snog. <laughs> Simon, do you ever wonder why your imaginary friend committed suicide? <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, excuse me. I, I wonder if I could just briefly explain uh, what's happened. Uh, my gyro uh, was meant to arrive two weeks ago. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's your name? Oh, uh, sorry, it's Nick Brim. I shall have to fetch your papers. <laughs> What's your name? It, it's Nick Brim. I've, I've just told you. Right, them. I'll just go and get your papers. <laughs> Mr. Brian. No grin. Oh. <laughs> right, what's your name? <laughs> it's Nick Brim. Brim? Yes, Brim. <laughs> oh, you want Windows 6? Delay. Now, first things first. What's your name? 